Hey everyone, welcome to this Facebook Live. I am Lauren Joyce and I am so excited to be here with you this evening. So this Facebook Live is all about making a man crave you, right? Who doesn't be, want to be the woman that the man that she's with, that she's dating, that she's in a relationship with, is longing to be with, is desiring to be with? Am I right? Thank you everyone for joining. Hi, Anna Mae. So excited to have you all here. Thank you so much for the heart. So how we're going to do this, like we do all of my Facebook Live, I'm going to be doing a really incredible giveaway. So in order to be entered to win the giveaway, you have to share this video. So why am I having you share this video? Because I feel like what I have for you this evening is so good that so many of your girlfriends are going to be missing out if they do not watch this Facebook Live. Yes, you love giveaways. I know you do anime. You participate every single time. I love it. Well, I have some things. Super duper special. Um, so I'm be giving away one of my courses and one of my favorite resources, one of my favorite books. Thanks for sharing anime. So anyone else who's getting on, joining us live right now, uh, let me know that you're here. Tell me who you are. I am going to be guzzling water. I don't know about where you guys are, but uh, it is so hot and humid where I am right now. So I have my on brand cup as you can see hello gorgeous and I'm guzzling me some sparkling water so tell me who else is joining say hello say hello as we get started here in case you missed what I said what I want you to do is share this video because there is so much power in being generous and sharing this with the other women in your life because imagine if every single woman walked around feeling so powerful feeling so irresistible, so magnetic, what a world that would be in. We're taught that we need to cut down other women, that other women are jealous of us, that we need to be afraid. But in reality, how the feminine actually works is when one person shines, it gives other people permission to shine as well. And when she shares that light and shows other women how she's doing it, she gives other women permission to do the same. So Thank you all so much for joining. So tonight I'm going to go over a few ways to make a man crave you. Now, if you've watched any of my other Facebook lives, thank you so much. For those of you who don't know, I'm a dating and relationship coach. And so I help my clients who are overworked, overstressed, ambitious, who are really, you know, moving forward in their professional life, but their love life is lacking, falling behind, and in some ways they feel like they're failing, right? So I help that woman reconnect to the power that she has within her and really the power to be magnetic. So thank you all so much for joining. So one of my favorite topics in dating, love, and relationships is men. I love men. I have such like compassion and love for men, right? Which is rare, I know. So just stick with me. It pays off, I promise. Um, <laughs> you should all have me every day, right? So share this video so that all of the other women can have me in their lives as well. Share me, share me, share me. Mm. Okay, so one of the ways that a woman becomes really, really magnetic is by mastering the art of feminine communication. And what I mean by that is really learning how to speak and approach a relationship from her feminine so that she invites the man in, right? in his masculine. So that's part of what we're going to be talking about today. But today I'm going to go over some ways to really make a man crave you, long for you, want to be with you. Okay. Are we ready? Say yes. If you're ready while I keep guzzling this water. It's so hot. Thank you all so much for the hearts. Thanks for everyone who's joining. If you're new to my Facebook lives, introduce yourself, say hello so I can say hello to you as well. And of course, if you have any If you have any questions along the way, I'm more than happy to answer them. And anime, of course, you're ready. Okay, so if you're just joining me, go ahead and share this video. You'll be entered to win the giveaway, which I'm giving away one of my courses. Excuse me, 
one of my courses and some of my favorite resources. So you're definitely going to want to be entered to win. If you're watching the replay, you can still participate in the giveaway by sharing this video, commenting on the video, and then whoever is interacting the most, really sharing this video, you'll be entered to win in the drawing. Okay. So how do you make a man crave you? Let's dive in. So the first thing is showing up in your interactions with men in your body. Now, what the heck do I mean by that? Our masculine energy is the one where we take action from that's goal oriented, that's kind of like a high speed train, right? Go, 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 push, push, push. And we're conditioned to really live from that space most, if not all of the time. So unfortunately, what happens, especially for really ambitious, successful women, is they show up in relationships completely and utterly in their head. So they're constantly the ones problem solving, making plans, taking action, initiating things. But if I know anything about my ambitious women, it's that you crave the man to show up and do those things. You want, you long for him to show up and solve the problems and take care of you, not in a needy, desperate way, but in a way that you feel really supported. Okay, so here's the, here's the truth, ladies. Men want that as well. They want to be able to show up that way. You live in your head, I know, and I play movies, so <laughs> Steven Spielberg would be jealous of, oh my God, Anime, I love you. Men want that as well. However, we as women have been so oppressed for so long, and men know that we've been oppressed, that they don't want to come in and take charge a lot of the time because they're kind of confused on what to do, and rightly so, right? Like, we went through thousands of years where we couldn't read and, you know, we weren't allowed to go to school. We weren't allowed to own property and blah, blah, blah. Right. And then we went to the other end of the spectrum where now we own properties, we own companies, we like run multimillion dollar corporations. And we've proven to men that we're just, a, just as good at being men as they are. But men are kind of like not sure where they fit in anymore. And so if you really crave a man to show up in a way where he's loving you and adoring you, taking care of you, like really initiating things, who, who runs the world? Girls. Exactly. So if you really crave a man to show up in that way, you have to show up in your body because that really gives him the green light that you're in your feminine and he can start taking the lead. So how do you start show up in your body? Well, of course I walk my clients through really in-depth practices and rituals that are really practical to help them show up in their body. But let's say you're on the date, it's in the moment or you're with your man and you notice that you're really, really in your head what I always encourage my clients to do is just put your hands on your lap or one hand on your leg and rub your leg and just feel that your hand on your leg. Focus your energy there. What that does is it instantly brings you from your head to your body. Am I like really choppy right now? Is my internet connection really bad? Because I feel like I'm distracted by how choppy this video looks. Someone let me know that you can hear and you're getting everything I'm saying. Excuse me. So, yes. So, great tip to be in the body, right? Oh, awesome. It looks perfect for you. That's all that matters. Okay. If you're just joining this Facebook Live, I'm Lauren Joyce. I'm a dating and relationship coach. And I want you to go ahead and share this Facebook Live so you can be entered to win the drawing, the giveaway, the free giveaway where I'm giving away my course, Understanding the Modern Man, which is all about the art of feminine communication and how to show up in your body. And plus, you caught me on a really generous day, some really, really incredible resources, okay? So the first tip is you wanna show up in your body. So if you're in the moment and you're like, how do I show up in my body right now? I don't know what to do. Put your hands on your lap or put one hand on your leg and rub your leg and just focus, Feel the feeling of your hip on your leg, right? Maybe go slow, maybe scratch your leg and feel the difference because that'll move all your energy from your head to your body, right? 
The second thing to make a man crave you is he wants to know that his thoughts are being respected. Okay? So when a man tells you what he thinks, if you come back to him and, and put down his thoughts, he not only feels disrespected, he feels emasculated. And he's not going to show up and he's not going to crave to be with you. Here's the deal. At the end of the day, men crave women who are in the feminine. Why? Because they live in a masculine world and they are in the masculine, right? So we as women, we're their only taste, their only gateway into the world of the feminine and radiance and color and movement. So when a woman shows up fully in her feminine, in her body, and she really respects his thoughts, all he wants to do is be with her because he may, she makes him feel more masculine than he gets to feel in any other area of his life, even when it comes to his career, okay? So the first thing is you want to show up in your body. The second thing is you want to make sure that you're respecting his thoughts. So when you're having a conversation and he tells you what he thinks, say, thank you so much. And you can even say, I really respect what you think. And if you're really present and you're really honest, that man is going to be like, oh my gosh, he's going to be so enthralled with you because he's going to feel more masculine than he feels a lot of the time. Okay. So the first step is you want to be in your body. The second thing is you want to make sure that you're respecting his thoughts. The third step is, or the third thing, right? Like I, I, I'm, I don't want to make this like a prescriptive training where there's these certain steps. This is just me coming on, giving to you, my tribe, my community, and really making sure that every woman feels as irresistible and powerful as she's meant to feel, right? So the third thing is that men are slower to process and slower to change. So while you're respecting their thoughts, if you ask them a question, you really want to give them time and space to answer because they are slower to process and they're slower to change. This doesn't mean that they're slower or stupider. It's because they're single focused. Okay. So they're single focused, which means I know it's like really difficult for us as women to under, to understand this and to grasp this. So you know how we have like 40, you're doing everything backwards. Oh, anime. I love you. Well, this is why we're doing this Facebook live, right? Okay. So you know how we have like so many different thoughts in our head all of the time, right? Men are single focus. That's where they excel. Here's the plus and the minus. The minus is if they're not focused on you and they're focused on something else, that's where all their attention is. They're not like half focused on you and half focused on something else. So that kind of sucks. However, when they're focused on you, they're fully focused on you. And because they're single focused, they're kind of like a train. So if you ask them a question that's on a different topic or different than what he's talking about, he is going to need some time to change lanes, to change his focus onto answering you. And men are so deliberate when they speak, they really do mean what they say. So if you can show up in your body, respect his thoughts, he's going to be more open with you, want to connect with you more. If you give him the time and space to answer your questions, to process through, he's going to want to divulge more things to you. He's going to want to talk to you more. He's going to want to be with you more because he feels like, wow, she really gets me. All too often I hear from men that women cut them off too quickly. Like men hate nothing more than when we're like, oh, what did you think of whatever, whatever? And he goes, oh, what did I think of whatever? And you're like, yeah, what did you think? And then you either rephrase it or try and ask a different question. It's not that he was stupid and he didn't get it. It's not that he doesn't understand what you asked. He was just repositioning his point of focus, right? So when you can give him that time and space, it allows him to show up more. It allows him to be more engaged. So the fourth thing that will make any man crave you is you allow him to be in the masculine, to solve problems, and to take care of you. Now, this is by no means a like 
pass to be the damsel in distress or to even be needy. Because at the end of the day, ladies, men know that we don't technically need them anymore, right? We don't need them, as I said earlier in this, to get a job, to have a checking account, to, I don't know, do tons of other things that women needed men for in the past. They know that, but they do. They want to open the door for us. They want to help us solve our problems. They want to make our lives easier. So when you can give a man a problem to solve for you, he's going to be so delighted to do that for you. So let's say, for example, you're with your guy and there's like some painting or something that you have been wanting him to wanting to have hung up on the wall, right? And you're like, I would really love it if you could hang that painting up for me because it would make me feel just so at home to like have our place decorated and beautiful artwork, right? He's going to want to help you solve this problem of that painting not being hung up, right? Asking him to do things for you, asking him to solve problems, asking him to open doors for you actually allows a man to step into his masculine. Now, are there men who are going to be like, well, you can do that. Yeah. They either A, need a little bit of training or B, just aren't going to do it, right? Because some men, Let's, let, it's the bell curve, right? Like some men are lazy, some men aren't going to do it, some men aren't going to step into the, the masculine. But I would say the majority of men are good, good men. Okay, before I go into the last thing I have for you, ladies, tell me, is this making sense? Are you enjoying it? Do you have any questions? This is also giving me a break to take some sips of my water because it's so hot. I'm rocking your world. I'm so happy anime. Okay, so the fifth thing, well, let's review, right? Showing up in your body, giving him time and space to answer, respecting his thoughts, having him help you solve problems and do things for you. And then the thing about men is they want to feel like they have freedom. So the fifth thing is if you create a dynamic in your relationship or when dating that allows a man to feel like he has freedom, he's going to want to be with you even more. I know for us that feels counterintuitive because all we want is love and connection. But when a man feels like he has freedom to be who he is, to do what he wants, not saying like that there can't be any expectations or any anything you know that you desire out of the relationship but when he feels like he has freedom he's gonna actually want to be with you more so how do you create that you have to be living a really full and fulfilling life you have to be really really happy on your own I know that you've probably heard this like all the time like you have to be happy on your own you have to be happy with your own life blah 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 but it is so true a woman who's really tapped into her radiance, who's really tapped into her magnetism, who a man craves to be with, is a woman who's busy, not overly busy that she doesn't have time for him, but where he's like, oh, like, I, I need to get on her calendar a week or two out, right? Like, and even if you're in a relationship, making sure that you're spending time with your girlfriend, that you're doing things that aren't just work and masculine related, but that really fill up your feminine, taking a dance class, maybe taking hobbies, like, I don't know, joining like a dog walking group or something, right? Like something that really fulfills you and fulfills your soul. Because when a man's like, oh, I can't see you tonight, that also helps warrant against us going into freak out mode and overthinking or overanalyzing that he can't see us because it means something, right? Oh my goodness. Anime, I can't read anything without my glasses, so hold please. <laughs> I love you so much. Be in your body, respect his thoughts, give him time to think and respond, let him solve the problems, give him freedom. You have to be happy. Yes, thank you so much. That was awesome. <laughs> Maybe you could just be my note taker. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. So men want to feel like they have freedom. So it's really, really important to allow him to feel that way. So the easiest way to do that is if you're living a really full and fulfilling life, because that helps you stay radiant. It helps you stay magnetic. It helps you stay in tune with the pulse of your own life. What I see 
all the time with women who get into relationships is they like have their foot so far down on the gas pedal of like having this amazing, fun, fulfilling life because they were single. Then they get in a relationship and all they want is love and connection. So they take their foot off the feminine and then they're just like in the relationship and that's it. And then their guy's like, I'm going away on a guy's trip. And she's like, why doesn't he want to be with me? Why doesn't he love me? Well, actually when men feel like they have freedom they want to be with you more they crave it because they're like oh my god like I can do whatever I want I can go on a guy's trip and she's not gonna freak out she's amazing so again the way that you allow him to feel like he has that freedom is by creating a really full and fulfilling life one that really fills you up so don't just like pack your schedule with activities because you're like, oh, well, Lauren said I needed to put activities in here. But things that really refill you, refresh you. So maybe it's time to start looking at new hobbies. Maybe it's time to take a dance class. Maybe it's time to, like, I don't know, get into some self-care rituals. Like, every other week you go to the spa or, like, once a month or, or something like that, right? Like, make sure that you're putting yourself as a priority because all too often we as women put love and connection as the first priority to others, right? But really it should be love and connection to ourselves. And so living that full and fulfilling life will make him crave you even more. Okay, so that's what I have for you ladies this evening. I have a few extra minutes, so if there's any questions, I'd love to answer any questions nothing's off the table whatever you want to know it could be about what I told you this evening it could be about I don't know anything um, but I'd love to hear your questions and if you haven't already pick up my free video the three things that will make any man addicted to you they're completely different than what I told you here tonight so if you're really looking to feel irresistible to have your man crave you to feel like this goddess and to be treated like one, right? Go pick up that video. It's on my Facebook page. I will add the link in here as well so that you can go ahead and grab that because that video is really, really good. And it has a PDF with my five most alluring texts in it. So make sure that you pick up that video and that PDF. I promise you will love it. All right, my loves, any questions? The problem is keeping conscious of, sorry, I need my glasses, what you're doing wrong so I can stop and go back to the feminine or communicate better. That's a great, that, that's a very common problem, right? Awareness is really, really key. And animate, really, that's where you can just start setting intentions, right? Like, I desire to be more aware of when I'm not communicating in a loving way. Because setting intentions is going to help frame your day, your week, your month, and really move you forward to that awareness. So start by setting intentions and see where that gets you. Any other questions, my love? And if you're watching this replay or if you've joined late, again, my name is Lauren Joyce and I'm a dating and relationship coach. Make sure to share this video. Share this video because you will be entered to win a giveaway of one of my most popular all-time favorite courses, Understanding the Modern Man, and some of my favorite resources ever, which will be a surprise for the winner. So you have 24 hours. Go ahead and share this video to comment on it, to really get engaged, and then you'll be entered into the drawing, and I'll let the winner know who won tomorrow night. You're so welcome, anime. All right, my loves. Have a great night.